and men may go but PSPB will go on forever. Friends, put your hands together to welcome on stage Quizmaster Big Brain. <laughs> Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Pig Brain, here today, and you're witnessing the national final of a class apart. The Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020, a fantastic initiative created by the Padma Seshadri Bal Bhavan group of schools in memory of an iconic educator, a great leader, a remarkable motivator, and a life that has inspired many a lives. Mrs. YGP, as she was affectionately called, had two great passions. One, children. The second, India. The combination of these two created this fantastic quiz. As her entire institution that she created thought of keeping her memory alive through an annual inter-school quiz for middle school children. The theme, of course, will remain India. The quiz started a couple of weeks ago with an online round powered by Tata Consultancy Services' ION team, better known as TCS ION. We had close to 24,000 children taking part and then we brought it down to the top 400 of the country. From the top 400, we came down to the top 32 of our nation. And from there, we came down to the top 16. Grueling semi-finals that you watched over the last couple of days has brought us to the nation's top four here today. Even before I get rolling with this final, it is just fair to say four out of 24,000 in itself is a remarkable achievement. People from almost 23 states and four union territories took part. And here are the nation's best four in front of you. The quiz itself is a remarkable tribute, like perhaps the French Open, which remembers a great fighter pilot called Roland Garros every year. This quiz will remember a great educator, Mrs. YGP, as we unfold the first ever national final of this quiz. Before we move forward, of course, let me also take this opportunity to wish each and every one of you a very happy Gandhi Jayanti as we celebrate the great leader who got us our freedom and made our nation one of the greatest in this world. But for the moment, we have with us my co-host, a young lady who shares her name with the nickname of Mrs. YGP as Rashmi. And she's been playing an equal shoulder to me through this quiz she did the quarterfinals, she chipped in with me for the semifinals. Here she is with us for the big final, as we've got contestants from all over India and my co-host, who's logging in from the beautiful town of Mulki on the western coast of India. Over to you, Rashmi. Thank you so much, Big Brain. 
Well, an amazing journey from 24,000 students to the best four in our country. Let's get to know who they are. First up, we have Arudra from DPS East, Bangalore. Following him is Ninad from Mother's Public School, Bhuneshwar. Next, we have Sanjana Bhatt from Padmasi Shadri Bhagavan, Pinagar, Chennai. And lastly, we have Shrikar from Lakshmi Patsingamya Academy, Kolkata. These kids have played a wonderful game all through to reach the national final here today. Let's see what's in store for them in this national final. Over to you, Pink Brain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Rashmi, for that. And I tell you what, she's certainly been one of those people who's been integral to this quiz along with the entire team that has created this. And it's really nice to see, uh, or Mrs. YGP would be thrilled to see a young lady as a quiz host in our country. And she's probably a lonely one at that because uh, she's the only one who actually does it at a national level and in other countries as well is Rashmi. But we certainly hope that her tribe will increase as we progress in this world. This quiz, of course, has been entirely produced digitally on the Quizital software, something new that we created at Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe. And with our four finalists here today from right across the length and breadth of India, we've got two coming in from the east from Kolkata and Bhuvaneshwar, and two from the south from Bengaluru and Chennai. It's time for us to pick action on the first frontier of our game here today as we celebrate India and call it She is India with the first of our rounds coming up, which is She is Historic. Here it comes. All right, all hands on the buzzer. The rules of the game are something you know only too well. Plus 50 if you get it right, minus 50 if you get it wrong. Whoever hits the buzzer first gets to play first. And you've got a series of visuals largely visuals that we've lined up for you because it's easier for you to see it in a digital medium than reading text. So if you guys are ready, if you're on the buzzer, the national final gets going with the first question coming up on your screen now. This is an iconic meeting in Indian history. Shrikar has gone for it on a quick flash. There is Rabindranath Tagore and a question mark. Go ahead, Shrikar. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein actually had a meeting with Rabindranath Tagore in Indian history. Absolutely right. He'll get the first 50 of the national final. Cracker of an answer by him. How great minds met and perhaps even found great conversations to have between them. The beauty of India and Indian history is it's simply too fascinating. As we go to the next one. Buzzer seems to be super quick. On the next one, on your screen now. Whose original tomb is this? This was the original location for a tomb before a great tomb came into existence. Who was lying here for a period of time before something spectacular happened in history? <laughs> Shrikhar is again taking a shot. He's playing aggressive. The young boy from Kolkata. Yes. Mumtaz Mahal, wife of Shah Jahan. And you're saying this was the original location before the Taj Mahal was built? The young boy from Lakshmipat Singhania Academy is on fire. 100 with that correct answer. Superb. Two on two. He's starting in style in this quiz. Superb answer. Well... Had Shah Jahan not thought about the Taj Mahal, this is how Mumtaz's Muslim would have looked. Here's the next one on your screen now. Banco Nacional Ultramarino is an extremely popular Portuguese bank. Which place in India did they contribute currency notes to? Sanjana Bhatt from Chennai is first on the buzzer. Go ahead, Goa. Sanjana. Sorry? Goa. Goa. Goa's currency in the olden days on your screen was created by the Portuguese. We'll give her the first 50. 
The early battle lines are getting framed in this quiz as we go to the next one. The final one in the first round on your screen now. These are six. Go ahead. He's stopping me on that question. With the buzzer is young Shrikar. What do you think this is, Shrikar? So behind there is the Eiffel Pillar. We can see uh, there is a Kutubunna complex in Delhi. You got to give me a very specific answer. Yeah. What are these six meant to be? So mosques. Minus fifty to you. In a hurry, not waiting for me to complete the question. There are six of them. One was meant for the person who served all the remaining five. In Indian history, this is the famous location of Draupadi's kitchen. Well, Draupadi and the five kitchens where she is believed to have cooked food for the five Pandavas. So tough one, Shrikar losing a 50 on that one. So Shrikar, I think, is on 50. And uh, Sanjana is also on 50 at this stage. Very early days in this quiz, uh, but truly early with two of them on 50 apiece. As we are moving into the second frontier of our battle, and we'll go straight into the second round of our quiz, it's time for us to play what we call She is Beautiful. Here it comes. India is not just about the beauty of its people, it's also the beauty of our culture, the color, the festivals, the products. Everything about India is about absolute beauty, including the beautiful backdrops that we have for these four contestants. They've all created their lovely backgrounds with an Indian touch here today for this national final. But for the moment, we're going to play on what we call She is Beautiful. We're going to start with the first special part of this round here today, where we've got a lineup of celebrities who are going to be part of this national final. And let me introduce the first one who's going to come up and ask you a couple of questions here today. An alumnus of the Padma Se Shadri group of schools. She is an iconic singer, playback singer, many a movie hits she has given this nation. She's also a very, very energetic TV host, a celebrity who's extremely down to earth, known for her humility and simplicity. She started her journey in the film world from the amazing film Bombay, where she was introduced by A.R. Rahman. Anuradha Sriram, an alumnus of Padma Seshadri, is here to join us. And uh, Anuradha, we truly, truly appreciate the time taken out by you to be with us for this national final, where we got four outstanding kids who are in this super final that we are currently playing out. And uh, from here, of course, we'd like you to say a few words or share your thoughts with us on this grand occasion. And then, of course, we would want to ask you to also ask a question to these lovely contestants. Uh, all yours, Anuradha. Thank you, Giri, for that warm welcome. I should say it's indeed my privilege to be part of this fantastic national quiz uh, which has been uh, conducted all through India with 24,000 uh, contestants participating initially and now it's all come down to four finalists. Congratulations to all the four because I think getting here itself is a big journey and it's, it's I think a lot of credit to all of you and uh, this is being done uh, in honor of uh, my very beloved teacher YGP ma'am. They asked me to say a few words about YGP ma'am. What can I say? She was my mentor, my guru, my friend, my guide. Uh, I remember what she told me about competition. Since you are all participating and I am sure every one of you want to win this national quiz. Uh, there is one thing she always used to tell me. She used to send me to all the competitions. Even if I missed class, she will say, don't worry. Because getting marks is not the most important thing. 
each person has a unique set of skills and it's important to nurture those skills and preserve the individuality of a human being. So when she sent me to this competition, you know, fair enough, you want to win a prize. But she would always say, winning the prize is not the most important thing as long as you are getting better at your own game. She always said that it was important to improve yourself as a human being and also to improve those skills given by God. But the prize, yes, it does matter, but that's not everything in life. As long as you know, you are improving. So I think I will leave it there. And I have the honor of asking you one question in the finals. Uh, what kind of a question will it be? You all know that I am a musician. So they've asked me to sing a song and uh, you are going to identify the person who wrote the lyrics of this song. Who is the composer of this song in terms of the lyrics of the song? Here goes the song. Bho Shambho Shiva Shambho Swayambho Bho Shambho Shiva Shambho Swayambho Bho Shambho Shiva Shambho Swayambho Ganga Dhara Shankar Karuna Kar Mama Vap Bhava Sagar Tarakar who wrote this song? Well, that was absolutely remarkable, wasn't it? Well, I tell you what, question simple, who wrote this song? Uh, Anuradha, don't leave us just yet. We would want you to ask one more question if that's okay with you. But question to the teams. Let me see if someone's going to answer that one. All you got to tell me is who composed or wrote that song as Anuradha asked you. Nobody on the buzzer. Well, turns out to be a tough one from you. Well, when you get a great musician like that, you would get a tough question. The answer to all of you watching this quiz and to our four contestants is none less than Dayananda Saraswati. Dayananda Saraswati composed and wrote that outstanding song. Well, Anuradha, can we trouble you to hum another piece for us and ask us another question? Uh, well, here she is. Thank you so much. This is another song. Here goes the song. Bhaja Govindam Bhaja Govindam Govindam Bhaja Moodamate Bhaja Govindam Bhaja Govindam Good luck, guys. Thank you so much, Anuradha. Truly, truly appreciate the amount of time that you've taken out for us. Really appreciate your presence. The question, of course, remains the same. Who wrote or composed this song? Uh, Sanjana, I think, is first off on the buzzer. Yes, Sanjana, if you could unmute this your song, mic. And, this was uh, written by Adi Shankaracharya. This was written by Adi Shankaracharya. Well, absolutely right. She'll get a plus 50 on that one. Well played. And uh, let me go to the next question for you. And uh, coming up on your screen, hands on that buzzer to the next question. Here it comes. These are gigantic wheels. Arudra has gone for it. She is beautiful. These are the chariot wheels of the Humpy chariot. The chariot the wheels of the Humpy Temple is what you say. We'll give you a 50 and your first 50 in this quiz. He's got that absolutely right. The belief is that the king had gone to Orissa during his conquests. And from the backyards of where Ninad stays, he saw the beautiful chariots of the Sun Temple. And that inspired him to create this in Humpy, the Vijaya Vittala Temple. An outstanding place that every one of you should visit at some point in time. Well, the battle's really getting tight. Arudra is on 50. Sanjana is on 100. And uh, Shikhar is on 50. So that's where we are with one more question still to go in this round. And, uh, well, we've got someone else coming in. Let me first introduce the person before we reveal who that is to you. Another alumni of Padmasya Shadri. And I'll tell you what, this is a special day. 
Well, here are the clues for all those of you watching this episode. He's an outstanding cricketer. Between test cricket and one dayers, he's got more than 500 wickets. That is massive, isn't it? Well, he is also a very decent batsman and he scored four test centuries. Not something very common for Indian bowlers, but he's someone who's done that. He's of course not just an alumnus of PSBB, he's also an engineer who graduated in information technology, an extremely articulate thinking cricketer. He's got a huge fan following and we're truly, truly happy to have him taking time off. He's currently in a really busy schedule that all of us are only aware of. And ladies and gentlemen, with us here today at the national final, is the one and only Ravi Chandran Ashwin. And Ashwin's an alumnus of Padma Shadri, and he's going to ask us a question. Uh, we'll just see if we've got him on there. And uh, well, Ashwin, if you are ready and good to go, we can take your question. Ashwin, are you ready? Good to go? Good to go. Oh, lovely. All yours, Ashwin. Hi, everyone. All the very best to everyone participating in this quiz. But my question is here. Uh, you must all be aware that I became the, only the third Indian uh, to win the Gary Sobers Trophy for the ICC Player of the Year in 2016. Uh, I want you to name the other two. If not two, at least name one of them. All right, Ashwin's being kind out there. And uh, Ashwin became the third Indian to win the Gary Sobers Trophy. He's asked you to name at least one of the two before him. It's an iconic trophy. It's a trophy given to a great champion by ICC. Only two great Indian cricketers have won it before Ashwin. I would have still been comfortable with him asking for both the names, but he's been lenient, so I'll go with what Ashwin has said. One of the two who got it before him. Iconic two people. Any one name will give you 50. Anybody trying? Well... Questions of the celebrities seem tougher than mine. Oh, someone's going for it. Shrikar it is. He's taking a shot from Kolkata. Yes, young boy. Virat Kohli. Oh, Virat Kohli was after Ashwin and not before Ashwin. So you'll get a minus 50 on that young man. Well, two great legends of Indian cricket. The first ever from India to get the Gary Sobers trophy is perhaps... One of my favorite or all-time favorite cricketers from across any era of cricket, Rahul Dravid. The second, of course, the one and only Sachin Tendulkar. So those were the two after which it was Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Well, really, really tough questions. The scoring is slow and I can understand that because it is a national final. But we'll take a very quick break and on the other side... We'll have the next big round coming up, but for the moment, I'll be back on the other side of this quick break. Stay with us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We now move on to the next round of this quiz. She is inspiring. Here it comes. Well, this round is all about saluting great Indian women from mythology, history, modern India, all over. And like Mrs. YGP, they have also been pioneers and great inspiration for many of us. Let's move on to the first question of this round. Here we go. Identify this famous personality. Oh, I think our finalists are finding this a little difficult. All right, no one buzzing on this question. The lady on your screen, this famous personality on your screen is none other than Ila Bhatt. She's the one who founded SEVA, which is nothing but Self-Employed Women's Association of India. She's contributed a lot towards our country, a great lady from our country, Ila Bhatt. Moving on to the second question of this round, all visuals, the next one on your screen right now. Who, who is, 
All right. They don't allow you to even read out the question. It was Tirana International Airport, and Shrikhar is right there on the buzzer. Yes, Shrikhar, go on. Uh, Tirana International Airport is situated in Tirana, and it is the capital of Albania. And the most and most inspiring woman in India who related with Albania is Mother Teresa. Okay, so your what's your answer? Mother Teresa. Plus fifty. That was a huge risk, Shrikhar. My question was to uh, to uh, to commemorate whose memory is this particular airport created, or uh, to whom after whom is this airport named? You got it right, Mother Teresa. But you gave me an entire history. No problem. You got it absolutely right. Plus fifty to you. And she, of course, has Albanian roots. So therefore. Albanian uh, Albanians have named this after her. Moving on to the next question of this round on your screen right now. Identify this lady, the first ever health minister of our country. Sanjana, Sanjana going on the buzzer there. Yes, Sanjana, go on. Rajkumari Amritkar. Rajkumari Amritkar, plus 50 to you, absolutely right. I must tell, I'm very happy that one of you got this right. She's done a lot of work for our country. In fact, she is the founder and the reason why we have AIMS at Delhi today. So she's the one who founded it. Plus 50 to Sanjana, Rajkumari Amritkar is what I was looking for. Moving on to the last question of this round on your screen now. Identify a person. All right. Even before I could move ahead, Arudra has pressed the buzzer. Amrita yes. Shergil. Amrita Shergil. She Amrita has done self-portraits of herself. All right. Plus 50 to you. You are absolutely right. Amrita Shergil is the answer I was looking for. She's also known as Frida Kahlo of India, probably because of the self-portraits. I'm not sure of that. But he's absolutely right. Plus 50 to you, Arudra. We have reached the end of this round. Let's see where the scores are. We have Arudra on, fifth, on 100, Sanjana Bhatt on 150, and Shrikar back to 50. He gained and lost in the past couple of rounds, but now he's back in the positives on a plus 50. We now move on to the next round of this quiz. She is modern. Here we go. In this round, you will have many clues coming on your screen. You may have images, you may have audios, you may have text and also videos. All you have to do is connect all the clues and arrive at one final answer. But before we move on to the questions itself, I have the privilege of introducing our next guest or our chief guest here today. Mr. Vijay Amritraj, he requires no introduction at all, but he is a sportsman par excellence, a tennis legend of our country who led India into two Davis Cup finals and a Wimbledon double final. He's a Padma Shri recipient and a great ambassador for our country and also UN. It's an honor to have him with us today. And we are going to ask him to do something that he's probably never done before. Master, over to you, Mr. Amitraj. It's all right, everyone. Listen to me very carefully. Here is the question. So which character in the Star Trek series, which I've also acted in, is really associated with the Vulcan salute? Think carefully. All right. Big Brain will take this round forward. Big Brain, you want to continue? All right, thank you so much, Mr. Amrutraj. We'll get him back a little later to address you all as the chief guest. But for now, the question from him, who from the Star Trek series would you associate as a character to the Vulcan salute? Well, and Mr. Vijay Amrutraj appeared in Star Trek as an actor. He does play a few cameos here and there during his career. And I'm saying he does play because I'm not ruling out a chance that he will act again in the future. 
Nobody. The Vulcan salute. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you watching this quiz, perhaps we are quizzing with Generation Avengers, which is not quite in sync with Generation Star Trek. The answer is, of course, the one and only Spock from Star Trek. Spock, the character, and would be famous and iconic for the Vulcan salute, played by the legendary Leonard Nimoy, a great actor, and that's the answer that I was looking for. All right, I'm going to ask you the next couple of questions before uh, we get Mr. Amritraj in towards the end to give us a message. Thank you so much, Mr. Amritraj, for joining us. And uh, let me move on to the next one. Like Rashmi said, over the next three questions, you're going to have multiple clues and you've got to give me one overall answer. The first one's a tricky one. You've got to think a little beyond your age group, according to me, to crack these. But then it's the national final and you're in the top four from 24,000. So you would only expect me to be fair and keep it as tough as it should be. Overall answer is what matters. 50, you get it right. Minus 50 if you get it wrong. Here's the first one among the three that's left on your screens now. Two great classical musicians came together to create these fascinating films. Two people from the world of music. The song itself is from a great movie called Silsila. Amitabh Bachchan. Dancing around with some lovely tulips. Two iconic classical musicians in Bollywood. Sanjana is taking a shot at it. Is she taking a risk? Go ahead, Sanjana. Is it Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasi and Pandit Jasraj? Ah, uh, you've got one half of it right. You will get yourself 25. I can't give you the entire 50. Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia is right, so we'll get the scores added later. We'll have that manually added, so it will not appear on your buzzer indicators, because we can't add a 25 there, but I'm being very fair. You got half the answer right, so you get a 25. It's not easy at your age to know Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia. The other one, of course, was the great. The combination, of course, was called Shiv Hari, so you missed the other one in terms of the great legend. But here's the next one coming on your screens. It'll lead you to an individual as an answer. Here it comes. Arudra Raghunathan from Bengaluru. This, so this song which is being played is from R.K. Narayan's Malgudi days. You got to give me an overall connection. You said it, Vagle's World, Asian Paints logo and a song. R.K. Lakshman is the answer. R.K. Narayan's brother. How do you because say Because R.K. Lakshman is the cartoonist who draws logos in newspapers and cartoons in newspapers and the overall connect according to you is rk lakshman well you said it was the name of the column he always created in the times of india a small little pocket sized column that captured the mood of the nation in my mind he's probably the father of twitter before twitter got created he was technically tweeting every day in the times of india vagle's world before you entered this world perhaps captured the imagination of many Indians. You've got young little kids, but I'm sure your parents relate to what I'm talking. And Gattu, the great mascot of Asian paints, apart from the characters which were illustrated for the great Malgudi days, were all creations of R.K. Lakshman. 
Mr. Lakshman himself was a great friend of the Padma Seshadri group and has in fact visited Padma Seshadri schools and has appreciated the way they, you know, focus on not just curriculum but on a lot of extracurricular activities, specifically their interest in literature and culture. So a great man who's also had an association with the Padma Seshadri group is R.K. Lakshman. Great Indian for sure. As we go to the next one, and a good 50 for Arudra on that one. Here's the next one. You've got to give me an overall answer again. One of my favorites again in our country. Here it comes. Sanjana is off on a flash. The others are trying to follow her, but she's the first one. Yes, Sanjana. Overall answer. Ruskin Bond. Explain that to me. Like I saw Blue Umbrella. It was a book written by him. So I just. Blue Umbrella is a book written by him. You know what is Junoon by any chance? All right. Tough ones at your age, but. The logic behind this question, the answer, of course, is Ruskin Bond. You will get your 50 on that. But the logic that I was looking for is these are all movies made from books written by Ruskin Bond. The modern world today celebrates people like Chetan Bhagat, whose books have also become movies. But long before, it was Ruskin Bond who led the way for great writers actually scripting movies with their wonderful stories and plots. Well, ladies and gentlemen, watching this remarkable final here today with great legends like Anuradha Sriram, Ravi Chandra Nashwin, and the one and only Vijay Amritraj, all with us here today in this big final. On the other side of this very quick break, I'll tell you where these contestants are before we move into the final frontier of A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020. You're with me, Pig Brain. I'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're with me, Pig Brain, watching the national final of A Class Apart. The Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020, a creation of the Padma Shadri Bal Bhavan group of schools. And I'll tell you what, this quiz is going down the wire to the final frontier. You've got four outstanding finalists. Remember, they are in the top four from 24,000 students. No mean achievement here today by all of them. As we're going to pick action on the final frontier of our game, which itself is called a class apart. Here it comes. India as a nation is what we are celebrating. So we say she is a class apart. Certainly India and Indians are a class apart. In this final frontier, we're going to go to each of our contestants and give them a rapid fire of questions with an opportunity of one minute of time to answer those four questions. If they get it right, they get a plus 50. If they get it wrong, they get a minus 50. Four questions in the one minute of time. They cannot go back to the questions even if they have time towards the end. So my advice to you would be to distribute your four questions evenly across your one minute of time. I shall accept your first answer as correct or incorrect the way I hear it from you. And... Please remember, we will be playing this round bottom up, so we will have Ninad playing first. He's in fact our youngest finalist qualifying into the national final. I think he's still in class six. Am I correct on that, Ninad? Yes, oh lovely. He is still in class six, and it's a remarkable achievement for a class six kid to be in the top 24,000 of our country. Young boy from Bhuvaneshwar, he'll play first. Shrikar will play next, and then Arudra will set a target for Sanjana Bhatt from Chennai to try and chase it down. So that's going to be the sequence of our final frontier. If you have no doubts to ask, and if you are familiar with this young man, Ninad Sahu from Mother's Public School, Bhuvaneshwar, if you are ready, can we start with you? Your mic is on? Yes. Outstanding. Good. Four questions is what we're going to ask you. So if you are ready, your time of 60 seconds. Ninad Sahu, time. Yes. Time starting now. 
what was the name of rana pratap's horse also Chetak. the name of a famous scooter in india chetak is correct lakme as in the cosmetic brand was once owned by the tata group agree or disagree pass clever in which indian city would you find the basilica of born jesus panaji or panjim is correct who is the first indian woman cricketer to score more than 6000 runs in odi cricket pass oh he's played it cleverly passing to not taking a negative and getting two right which means it takes him to 100 he got chetak right he got goa panjim right he did not agree on lakme being from the tata group it indeed was and uh, created by the great jrd tata and of course finally he missed out on the one and only mithali raj what a great cricketer india has had a woman who scored more than 6000 odi runs and has made india proud on the world cricketing map up next is our second contestant shrikar and if you are ready from kolkata shrikar is on 50 and shikar if you are ready with your mic on and can i request ninath to mute your mic please thank you shikar if you are ready your 1 minute of time time starting now which actor's name by birth is inkolab srivastav dharmendra or amitabh bachchan dharmendra incorrect which indo trinidadian won the booker prize in 1971 for the book in a free state and the nobel prize for literature in 2001 pass dr raguram rajan has also been a finance minister of india in the past agree or disagree disagree correct in which modern state of india would you find patili putra bihar is correct So you got two out of your four right. You got one wrong, and you missed out on VS Noypal, which you passed. So you get a fifty, which means you are on level scores with Ninad from Bhuvneshwar. So the two of our East India contestants finish with a hundred and hundred. As we go to Arudra, and this is really the big moment of this national final. How much of a target is Arudra going to set for Sanjana? She is on two hundred and twenty-five. so he needs to get two rights to set some pressure up on her and then perhaps try and get even more than that if he can arudra ragunathan from delhi public school bengaluru if you are ready your one minute of time time starting now which indian city was founded in the 11th century by king boja with a capital as dhar ahmedabad or bhopal ahmedabad incorrect Which Indian has the distinction of taking all 10 wickets in one single innings of a test match? Anil Kumble. Is correct. Admiral, Commodore, Commander are all ranks of the Indian Air Force. Agree or disagree? Disagree. Correct. Who is the current Defence Minister of India? Rajnath Singh. Correct. Oh, he's played it well towards the end. he's finally put that pressure but he shouldn't have got the first one boja is bopal the answer was right there in raja boja and that let him down otherwise he would have got a 200 on 200 and choosing not to pass created a problem for him because he ended up losing on one of the 50s that he otherwise scored he scored 150 and lost 50 so that takes him up by 100 sanjana but will have to get one of her four right and then play the game carefully she certainly played these kind of games before she knows these tactics well but a national final is a national final and she is certainly going to be under a lot of pressure sanjana if you are ready with your mic on 60 seconds of time for you sanjana but from chennai your time starting now In mythology in India who is considered the god of wealth Kubera Correct Which famous engineer would you associate with the founding of the State Bank of Mysore M Vishweshwaraya Correct 
which daughter of Prince Edward became the Empress of India? Queen Victoria. Correct. Who is presently the chairman of the Rajya Sabha? Um, Venkaya Naidu. Sanjana Bhatt will do a 200 on 200 to finish this quiz in absolute style. Oh, that's a remarkable performance by the young girl. She took control of the final round, did not just play for 50. This is what you call punching about what is required. In style, the young girl from Chennai will finish with cracking answers. Particularly, I would say I was impressed with Sir M. Visveshwaraya. Very few would know that he started a bank. What an iconic Bharat Ratna that we have had in this country as we celebrate a moment like this with Mrs. YGP's passion for India. The final question, of course, was a cheeky one from me because this quiz, in fact, was launched by or dedicated to the nation, if I may put it in that way, by none less than the Vice President of India, Mr. Venkaya Naidu. It was in his inaugural address and the memorial lecture that he delivered for Mrs. YGP's memorial celebrations that he unfolded the idea of this quiz. And we are indeed grateful to people like him for having taken time off and been with us. Well, to the four of you, truly, truly fascinating performance. Let's take a final look at the scores of this remarkable quiz from 24,000 contestants finishing national runner-up is Arudra Ragunathan from Delhi Public School, Bengaluru. He finishes with 250. Finishing joint third, though the Padma Shadri group have been really, really, I think, thoughtful in saying there will be one first prize and then the rest of them get the same prizes. So there's no difference really in the second, third and fourth prize, which is fantastic because I don't think there's a difference between national second, third and fourth. You're all great champions. Extremely well done to all of you. But ladies and gentlemen, two of them finishing joint third, Arudra finishing second, but with 425, requiring just 50 in the final round, this young girl stood up to the occasion and really stood tall. She's been having a role over the last couple of years in Indian cuisine. She's no new face to Indian cuisine. She's won some outstanding battles, including quizzes from the Tata Consultancy Services at the Intelligent. She certainly is an intelligent young Indian that we have. More than anything, I think she will find this victory a special one, as coincidentally, she happens to be from the Padma Shadri group of schools. So YGP ma'am somewhere will truly be happy, not that she would have wanted only her school to do well. She loves all children equally, but truly a special moment at the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020, where a young little girl from the Padma Shadri group has stood tall and convincingly across all the rounds, super quick on the buzzer, super confident on her answers, our national champion, Sanjana Bhatt. Congratulations, Sanjana. Well done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all great things need to come to an end, but I'm going to tell our youngsters here today what they're getting from the Padma Shadri Balbawan group of schools. It's wonderful that all the three of them, Shrikhar, Ninad, and Arudra, will get themselves shopping vouchers on Amazon worth rupees 10,000 each from the Padma Shadri group. And my advice to these youngsters is to buy themselves books and probably start their own personal library. But at the end of the day, for that one lady standing tall at the end of it all, 20,000 to her from the PSBB group of institutions for being the national champion from among 24,000 students. But ladies and gentlemen, before we move any further, we've got our chief guest who's going to come in and say a few words. Truly an honor and a pleasure to have with us here today after that lovely question, a man who's acted in a James Bond movie a man who's been on the courts of Wimbledon. He still does as a great commentator. It's truly our delight, pleasure, and privilege to request our chief guest for this national final, Mr. Vijay Amritraj, to say a few words. Hi, Giri. Hi, Rashmi. What a fantastic event this has been. Of course, an incredible uh, amount of work has gone into it. But most important of all, congratulations to all of the contestants. We're celebrating the incredible Mrs. YGP and a dedication to education 
not just in our city and our state, but around the country. So just like my mother, she was good friends with my mother, who gave me an opportunity to play this game. And uh, I was humbled and honored to have represented my country for so many years, just playing this very sport. So to each and every one of you, you're very fortunate to be in a school that was uh, really run by a, a person who inspired not just students and parents and academia in the city and around the, around the country, but uh, truly an inspiration to all of us, just like my mother was. So I'm delighted to be a part of this event. I uh, hope you all are uh, excited to be a part of this incredible quiz program that you all are participating in. But most important of all, we're celebrating the legacy of the legendary Mrs. YGP, and I'm delighted to be a part of it. Well, congratulations to all the contestants for participation. Fantastic effort in this incredible quiz program. Kudos to the great champion, of course. And uh, what an inspiration Mrs. YGP has been, not just to all of you in school, but to all of the alumni as well, and to all of us as well to continue to follow in our footsteps. So all of you, stay well, keep well. Most important of all, work hard, try hard, be determined and be inspired by Mrs. YGP to make your dreams a reality. Goodbye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to thank a great legend who's taken time out to be with us. Some remarkable stories of the association his family has had with Mrs. YGP and her family. Thank you so much, Mr. Vijay Amritraj, for taking the time and being with us. Truly an honor and a privilege to have had you at this quiz final. So ladies and gentlemen, after that remarkable final, it's time for us to congratulate these youngsters. And let's start with the youngest of the four here today, who gets himself 10,000 rupees worth of internet shopping coupons from the Padma Shadri group. Is Ninad Sahu from the Mother's Public School, Bhuvaneshwar from Odisha. Ninad, congratulations to you on your achievement. Here's your prize. All right. Coming up next for his prize here today is the young lad from Lakshmipat Singhania Academy called Katha, an outstanding quizzer and a young talent. I'm sure he's going to have his moments today, perhaps wasn't his best. A very good quizzer that I can see great potential is Shrikar from Kolkata as he receives his 10,000 rupees here today for finishing in the top four of India. Congratulations, Shrikar. And from 24,000 students finishing runner-up here today, the young lad Arudra Ragunathan from Delhi Public School, Bengaluru. An outstanding performance by him. It's just unfortunate he ran into a tsunami from Chennai in that sense because she was simply unstoppable. But he played the game to the best of his ability. 10,000 rupees to you as well as our runner-up. But the prizes are the same for all those who finish after the winner, which I think is a fantastic move by the organizers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all of you across India watching this remarkable final, 24,000 students, one little girl remains undefeated. 20,000 rupees to her from the Padma Shadri Balbavan group of institutions as the national champion of a class apart. Without a doubt, she was a class apart. Her prize money for her, and I'm sure the smiling young girl there is going to wet herself something really worthwhile. Congratulations, Sanjana Butt, on this remarkable achievement. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for one of the people who's really been the architect behind this entire quiz as a concept, a lady who's not just brought this quiz to all of you, but a lady who's also architected the entire commemorative celebrations in memory of Mrs. YGP. Ladies and gentlemen, a great academic herself, an educator par excellence, she's been the person who really believed that the best way to celebrate a life like Mrs. YGP was to actually celebrate it with young India. And therefore, the class apart came into existence. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mrs. Sheila Rajendra, one of the key members of the Padma Shadri family. She's the dean and director of the group of institutions and in many ways, the complete architect and the brainchild for this quiz. Over to you, ma'am. 
Shri Guru Bhyanamaha, a very good evening to you all. What an incredible revolutionary experience the last two months have been. Looking back on the learning legacy that we have walked fills us with tremendous sense of awe and sheer wonder at the gamut of leading edge first that our forward looking ingenious leader has left behind. However, immediately we recall that there are scores of big and small best practices that we have not spoken about. One must admire how effortlessly Mrs. YGP came up with such brainwaves. Among many of her sparks of passion, one of the most prominent is her fondness for quiz and the very concept of asking questions. Who can ever forget her relentless reminder to teachers that students must be encouraged to ask questions. Even as early as 1970s, when the norm of schooling generally would have been to keep students quiet, it takes a Mrs. YGP, the class apart that she is, to think 50 years ahead of her times. It's only in the fitness of things that a reverential leader in the stature of our Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Venkaya Naidu, delivered the first Mrs. Rajalakshmi Parthasardi Memorial Lecture and blessed our launch, a class apart, the first Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz. Sir, we shall ever remain indebted to you for your gracious gesture. The quiz on India and Indianness, echoing Mrs. YGP's passion for the nation, open to classes 6 to 8, by itself has been an epic experience. Is it not astounding that the quiz drew more than 24,000 participants from 24 states and 4 union territories across India? At this moment, I would like to profusely thank our PSBB celebrity alumni, Ashwin Ravichandran and Anuradha Sriram for making special guest appearance and for asking such interesting questions, adding to the aura of the event, in spite of their extremely hectic schedule. Our very own international star, India's pride, a very close family friend, well-wisher and an absolutely delightful person, Mr. Vijay Amritraj the Great. My most sincere thanks to you Mr. Vijay for consenting to be the chief guest for this quiz finals and fielding questions in your own inimitable style and for the delectable speech. My most earnest thanks to you on behalf of Parma Seshadri group of schools. Who can ever forget your words when you address students on the occasion of Dr. Mrs. YJP's 90th birthday, a special lecture that you gave and mention the harder you work, the luckier you get, words of such profound wisdom. Congratulations to all the student participants for your thirst for knowledge and the eagerness to excel. You have put your best foot forward and this small step could well turn out to be a giant leap for your future. Our thanks are due to TCS Ion for spontaneously providing us with the digital online support, the production being on digital software. This national level quiz is powered by Knowledge Tribe, our gratitude goes to them. May their tribe grow by leaps and bounds. And what can we say about the irrepressible, cheerful and enthusiastic duo, Mr. Giri, Pibrain and Rashmi. I thank them profusely for their solid support in conducting the online quiz with absolute professionalism, integrity and alarm. Congratulations and a big thank you to all the enthusiastic participants. The four finalists were from Bangalore, Bhuvaneshwar, Kolkata and Chennai. It's a matter of immense pride and pleasure to Dr. Mrs. YGP that a girl student, Ms. Sanjana Bhatt of Padma Seshadri Balabhavan Tinagar branch has emerged the winner. I would like to thank the participants, the teachers, students, their parents and all the principals of all the schools across the country for encouraging us 
in the first edition of this quiz. My grateful thanks are due to Mr. S. B. Kantan and his team for helping us host the quiz shows on our own official YouTube channel, PSBB Vidya Shakti. I wish to take this opportunity to thank all the heads of PSBB schools, my colleagues for supporting us in this venture. My humble and grateful salutations to the Almighty for blessing and us and enabling us to succeed conduct this first ever a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz. And to all you viewers and subscribers, friends, parents, all the PSBBs, alumni, present students and well-wishers, sincere thanks for watching all the five days of mindful quizzing. Next year, with Mrs. YGP's divine blessings and the Almighty's grace, let's all hope that we'll be able to conduct the quiz in person on a grander scale, befitting the eminence of this event. Wish to sign off with the words of Andrew Carnegie. Teamwork is the ability to work together towards a common vision. The ability to direct individual accomplishments towards organizational goals. It is the fuel that allows common people to attain uncommon results. Shri Guru Bhya Namaha. Thank you so much, uh, Sheila ma'am. Truly appreciate your words here today. And at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, a remarkable day as we celebrate Gandhi Jayanti. Incidentally, Mahatma Gandhi and Mrs. YGP had also met in their lives and there are amazing episodes that have been captured of how they interacted with each other. But I'm not going to get you into those details today. You can, of course, find them yourself. But for the moment, from all of us here at A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020, Till we come back to you a year from now, from me, Pig Brain, from my co-host, Rashmi Futado, and from all of us here, on behalf of TCS Ion, Padma Se Shadri, and Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe, from me, Pig Brain, till we meet again a year from now on this wonderful quiz. Stay quizzing, stay happy, stay safe. Thank you for joining us.